My name is Janie Risa, and when I was a young woman in the 1970s and 80s, I lived in Japan. I was introduced to Japanese folk toys while I was there, and I went all around Japan to collect these toys. Uh, they have uh, followed me in boxes wherever I moved to, and I've been living in the East Riding for the past 12 years. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with Hajiki Zaru. Uh, so this is supposed to be a figure of a monkey. Uh, the whole toy is made of bamboo um, with a little bit of cloth to be the monkey and then it's got a few paper flags on it. Uh, at the top it says Shibamata, which is a place in the suburbs of Tokyo. Um, there is a temple called Taishakuten in Shibamata, which is where this toy comes from. And what it does is this. So the monkey climbs the tree, the monkey falls down. The monkey climbs the tree and falls down. But the monkey keeps trying and eventually it will reach the top of the tree. And that's a lovely lesson in persistence and perseverance. So this little thing is called Benta Ningyo and she represents a baby. Japanese babies traditionally don't wear nappies. They just have a bib in front with bright colours to protect them from evil spirits. So this one, she's got little arms and legs. She's just made of a scrap of wood. You can see where the lathe was, where she might have been put uh, for carving. She comes from Hinayu Onsen in Kumamoto in the south of Japan, which is a hot, bring, hot spring resort, and people will buy her as a souvenir to take home with them. These are some of my Hina dolls. Um, normally, Hina Ningyo are displayed in the house around the 3rd of March, which is the girls' festival, Momonoseku, and they represent an idealized emperor and empress, doesn't matter which way around you put them. Um, so these are pears. So this one is made of um, kimekome, which is a glued sawdust base, and you can buy the kit with the material and the base. You stick the material on the base to make your very own doll. Um, or you can buy them ready-made like this. These are made of cherry wood and these are made of clay. Um, usually, as well as the emperor and empress, you may have the court attendants, the minister of the left, the minister of the right, you have the three ladies-in-waiting, you have the five musicians, and at the bottom you have some courtiers who have been drinking too much sake and you also have pieces of miniature furniture, uh, pretend cakes and little lanterns to make a huge set of dolls which then you pack away on the 4th of March ready for next year. Pull along toys. So pull along toys are normally made of wood so they're quite robust. Um, they have wheels. These are from Kagoshima in the south of Japan. Uh, as you can see, some of them are a little bit more rustic than others, which have got more beautiful decorations on them. Um, the Japanese toy, uh, name for them is Kijiguruma, which means a quail pull along. But this one is a flying fish. So this is a pyong pyong uma. The pyong pyong is the sound that it makes as it bounces and it's just made out of a few scraps of clay, a few matchsticks, a bit of wire and a piece of feather. It's very very uh, roughly made but it's a nice little toy from the back streets of Osaka. Tops are usually made of wood um, because they have to stand up to a lot of hard treatment. This one has a metallic ring around it and a metal uh, axis. So 
I'm not very good at setting tops moving, but they are there. That one's moving quite well. You can find them all over Japan in different shapes and sizes. Sometimes they work with a cord or a piece of string. This one is a Diabolo type top, which is common in Europe as well. And then this is a sort of top which on base it has numbers one to six. So wherever it lands is the number that you choose. So um, these are hand puppets which I collected at an evening market. Evening markets are held in August because it's really, really hot and it's cooler in the evening. So children will be taken to the market like a fairground with their parents or grandparents. Um, these are very, very simple toys made of a clay top, scrap of cloth and cardboard for the hands. I think pretty much any of us could make this. So we have a tiger, which is one of the Chinese zodiac animals, a rabbit, which is another one, a princess, a ninja, and Doraemon, which is the old one out because Doraemon is a modern cartoon character really popular with children in Japan. I'll save you. I don't need saving. <laughs>